Whew. All right. Hey, how's it going and welcome back to another video. Today I'm filming at my parents' house, so my filming setup may look a little different, but I can assure you the content will be just as mediocre as always. If you've read the title, you already know what this video is about. I'm going to be talking about Fujifilm Pro 400H, and I'm actually going to be shooting a roll today and discussing my thoughts on it. Pro 400H was actually a fan favorite among wedding photographers, as well as portrait photographers, and just anyone who liked a soft, nice look to their photos. I've personally never been a huge fan of Pro 400H. I've only shot a handful of rolls before, but... Let me move him real quick because he was licking really loud in the background. I honestly can't really tell you why I was never a huge fan of Pro 400H, but I assume that it has to do with the fact that I tend to lean more towards a warmer color palette, whereas Fuji, in my eyes, has more of a green and a cool color palette. I had a few rolls left in my fridge that I've been saving, or I guess hoarding, uh, for a special occasion, and I figured that filming a video for you guys over this film was the best possible occasion I could possibly be waiting for, so that's what we're doing today. I'm actually going to be overexposing it a stop and shooting it at 200 instead of 400. Um, I'm doing this because I just personally like the way color negative looks when it is overexposed but also because I wanted a little leeway just in case my meter was a little off, just to, you know, save the image and make sure that it's not completely underexposed. As usual, today in this video, I'm gonna be going around the little town of Augusta, Georgia, and I'm gonna be just shooting everything that catches my eye. I actually don't have anything specific that I'm looking for today, so just anything interesting that I happen to see, uh, that's what I'm gonna be shooting, and hopefully there's actually good stuff. We'll have to get into it and see. But before we get started, I'm going to do that super annoying thing that YouTubers do and say that 89% of the people who are watching this video right now are actually not subscribed to my channel. So after this video is done, if you would like to keep up with me and support the channel, it would mean the world to me if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, now that that annoying self-promotion is over, let's go ahead and get into this video and shoot a roll of Fuji Pro 400H. So by far one of my least favorite things about Georgia is walking out the door during the summer and just being blasted by humidity and heat. I have a sneaking suspicion that I am going to be very gross at the end of this video. It is very damp and hot outside, but you know what? I'm actually looking forward to it because I am super excited to shoot this discontinued Fuji Pro 400H. And I think the disgusting feeling that I will have after being done with this video will be worth it. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Of course, you already know I had to stop by Dunkin' and get a coffee because I'm I'm not gonna make it through today without a coffee. It, it is, I am exhausted. I, I am very tired. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so like I assumed, it is it is hot. It is currently 99 degrees and it is very damp outside. So I am dying. So I'm actually going to go to a little uh, neighborhood around here and take some pictures around there. It's closer to the water. I figured maybe it'll be a little cooler. Probably not, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's head over there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I wasn't super happy with the pictures. Um, nothing really special in there, but I hope it just gave you an idea of the way that Fuji Pro 400H looks. And nonetheless, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to keep up to date with me, you can follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty regularly and that'll just help you keep up to date with what I'm doing and how everything's going. You can also feel free to follow me on Twitter. And as always, I give a disclaimer that I mostly post garbage, but I occasionally will post film photos over there. So if you'd like to keep up with me on there, interact with me, send me some tweets, whatever, DM me, I will respond to anyone who messages me. So you can feel free to follow me on there if you'd like. And finally, I've added some Amazon affiliate links um, with my favorite films and my filming equipment and everything. You of course do not have to buy anything like that. I just wanted to make it a little easier for y'all to find some of the stuff that I talk about in these videos. And just to let you know, I will get a very, very, very tiny commission with any of those links. Uh, it, no extra charge to you, but it'll help me out a little bit if you'd like to get something. As always, you can leave comments in the comment section below talking about your favorite image or your most hated image or how annoying I am or anything else. And I respond to every single comment and it would mean the world to me if you would uh, leave me some feedback or anything that you'd like to see in the future or anything at all, really. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and uh, I'll see you in the next one.